Yes, you read the title correctly, and this is the exact question I asked myself a few days back as I was doing a playthrough of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And definitely stick around for the end of this video, I'm doing a giveaway, and you guys definitely won't want to miss it. Basically my idea is to pick a Pokemon that's super easy to get and trade it up to a legendary Pokemon with only the means I have available to me. What are those means you ask? Currently I own Brilliant Diamond, Pokemon Violet, Pokemon Shield, Let's Go Pikachu, and more importantly I'll be utilizing Pokemon Home as it gives me way more wiggle room for trading. Now I can utilize a deposit feature in Pokemon Home where I can just catch a low level Pokemon and hail marry it by asking for a Mew, but I don't think anyone would bite. I've had some luck here and there, but I'm not going to bet on it just yet. For starters, let's find a Pokemon. I booted up Pokemon Scarlet and decided to hit one of the first routes in the game where I instantly was greeted by a Lechonk. This little guy doesn't know it yet, but he's about to be the first domino to fall on my journey to a legendary. I quickly moved it over to home and utilized the free trade room feature where you basically throw your Pokemon into a pool of others and then you'll randomly get a player's Pokemon and I, I thought it would be a fun place to start at least because you really can only go up from a base level Pokemon like Lechonk. No offense to Lechonk fans. So after throwing Lechonk in, I was greeted by a Roselia, which is a little better honestly, and I was pretty happy about that. But I didn't want to keep spamming the free trade room, and I'm still not certain depositing it would work all that well, so I thought it would be fun to head over to my copy of Shield and do a surprise trade. So I booted up home, transferred it over, and started up Shield, and attempted a surprise trade, and I waited, and waited, and waited. I don't think anyone's using this feature anymore, but I did think of a better idea, something to increase its trade value. You see, you can involve Roselia by using something called a shiny stone, which I just so happen to have one in my copy of Violet. This is me from the future, this isn't gonna work out, but enjoy the video. So I ran over to Pokemon Violet and placed the shiny stone in a Pokemon I could send to Sword and Shield as I can't bring Roselia over, and then I brought that Pokemon to my copy of Shield, and guess what? The item didn't travel with it. I don't know why I didn't remember this in the moment, and my only other options were to either continue the story in Pokemon Shield as I had just started a new playthrough, or progress the story in BDSP as, again, I just started a new playthrough. So I chose BDSP, not because progressing the story would be quicker, but because I'd given up on the idea of a shiny stone entirely in favor of wonder trading. How does Wonder Trade work? Well, basically the same as random friend trade from Pokemon Home. With the same logic as Lechonk, I didn't really have anything to lose, so I sent it into Wonder Trade and was greeted by a Cranidos. Unfortunately, it was a little low level, so I used the wanted Pokemon feature in Pokemon Home, and basically you can pick the Pokemon you already have and see what people are willing to trade for it. Wonder Trading gives you some rare candies for trading a bunch, so I took this level 20 Cranidos and leveled it up to a Rampardos, and then immediately headed over to the Global Trade Room in the Pokemon Center, which I soon found out is going to be my bread and butter for the next few trades. I spammed Rampardos for a good bit and finally found someone who was willing to trade me for a Steelix, which I then went right back to trying to trade, and this ended up taking way longer than expected. Most people either wanted to trade shinies or incredibly low level Pokemon. There's a few people I traded some shinies with to kind of soften them up to the idea of trading my Steelix for, but all of them inevitably declined. I did end up with a shiny Jirachi, so that's pretty cool, but that was until I found one guy who finally took this Steelix off my hands for a Wailord. Feeling like I could get lucky, I immediately went to Pokemon Home and utilized the wanted feature, and immediately found someone willing to trade my Wailord for a Charcadet. Its evolved form is totally worth something good, as it's a little bit tedious to get, so I got to work. I have Violet, so my Charcadet would evolve into a Cerulege, and I'd need to find Sinisti... Sin Sinisti... Sinistia chips? You can get them by defeating the Pokemon Poltegeist, Palti Palti as it drops one time each time, and I'd need at least 10. After getting 10 together, I met a lady over by the town of Zap Zapikiko, Zapapiko. and I traded over my Sinist Sinistia. Sinistia chips, and I got the malicious armor, which I promptly gave to my Charcadet so I could evolve it into a Cerulege. Finally, I had a Pokemon that at least in my opinion could make an argument for trading to a Legendary. So I headed back into Pokemon Home, transported it in, and utilized the deposit feature. And about 6 hours later, I got the notification. I had decided on Kyogre, and I thought it would probably be the most likely to get traded to me as it wasn't insanely hard to get like the others are. I tapped to accept, and I finally had my Legendary. It was a level 20, the first met on Pokemon Go, all the way back in 2018, which is kinda cool. But I was happy. 
Was this easy? Not necessarily. I wouldn't call it easy as you could probably hail Mary a Pidgey for a Mew, but like I said earlier, it isn't likely. Also, one would have to have some of the games that I'd have. But if I recommended someone try this, I suggest at least using BDSP, as it's got a pretty solid global trade room that's fairly active still. Finally, what you've all been waiting for, I'm doing a giveaway for this Kyogre and this shiny Darkrai that I was able to trade for during the making of this video, so let me know in the comments below what your favorite Pokemon game was growing up, and I will pick a winner. The contest will end on 11-16, so until then, good luck guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, this has been Cryptic Harry, and until next time, see ya!